Hey, how's it going everyone? It's me, it's Count, here with a brand new raid guide video. Today I'm going to be telling you how you can duo Giratina Origin Form. This is one of the most coveted legendaries in Pokemon Go, mainly because it is a very powerful ghost type, and a lot of players use this Pokemon in the Master League. So, if you want a really good Giratina Origin Form, or if you want its shiny form, and you want to use the most minimum number of trainers as possible, then pay attention to this video video because I'm going to be telling you how you can do just that. But without further ado, let's jump right into it. Alright, so at the time that I'm recording this video, we've had Mega Houndoom released into Pokemon Go, and this is going to be a staple Pokemon that you use up against Giratina Origin Form. So I'm going to be talking about all of the different counters that you could bring to Giratina and see if you can actually duo this Pokemon. Of course, Giratina Origin Form is not going to be a simple duo. It is going to be on the easier side when you compare the two Giratinas, but if you had trouble duoing Giratina Alter form then this one could potentially be difficult as well but if you did duo Giratina altered form then this one will actually be a lot easier Giratina origin form is the squishier of the two versions but of course it is a glass cannon so it is going to knock out a lot more of your Pokemon compared to its altered form so you do have to watch out for that and there are certain move sets that you will want to avoid if you are looking to duo this Pokemon Giratina origin form is a ghost type and a dragon type which should already tell you what counters you need to bring. Unfortunately, there aren't any Pokemon that does have a double effectiveness against Giratina Origin Form, but considering how squishy this Pokemon is, you may not necessarily need it. Now, the absolute best Pokemon that you could bring is, of course, Mega Houndoom. Its dark typing is going to be super effective against Giratina Origin Form's ghost typing, so you will want to at least lead with a Mega Houndoom. Now, of course, for the remainder of your team, you will not want to fill it up with other dark types even though Mega Houndoom will give them a bonus. I still suggest you bring very powerful dragon types like Rayquaza. They're just going to dish out a lot more damage. So the ideal team that I suggest you bring is Mega Houndoom with five Rayquazas maxed out. Now if you and your duo partner are both level 40, you will have no problems at all going up against this boss. But if you are around level 35, then you will want to make sure you are weather boosted by either windy weather or foggy weather for your Mega Houndoom. And then of course, when it comes to Giratina, you will want to avoid certain moves. Giratina Origin Form's move pool consists of mainly ghost types and dragon type moves, but it's actually those dragon type moves that you will want to watch out for. One of the potential movesets that it could have is Dragon Tail and Dragon Pulse. Both of these moves chunk down your Pokemon, and if you're using Rayquaza, it's pretty much going to get one shot. So I highly suggest you look for Giratinas with Shadow Claw and Ominous Wind. Those are going to be the easiest moves that you could go up against regardless of what you bring. Its other charge move is of course Shadow Ball and that can still dish out quite a lot of damage. So if you want the easiest time going up against this boss, then you will want to look for Shadow Claw and Ominous Wind. Of course, depending on when you're watching this video, there could be a lot of other Mega Pokemon that you could bring, like for example, Mega Ampharos with Dragon type moves or even Mega Charizard with Dragon type moves. Both of these are going to be really effective against Giratina Origin Form. But basically, you will just want to have at least one Mega among you and your dual partner. It's going to give you a huge boost and I really think that when it comes to Giratina origin form it just can be nuked down really easily because of how squishy it is. Now as I mentioned before the weather boosts that you're going to want to look for is of course windy weather and foggy weather. These are going to give your Pokemon a huge boost but these also boost up Giratina, considering that it is a ghost type as well as a dragon type. So if you want a weather boosted Giratina origin form, then these are the weather boosts that you are going to look out for. It's kind of interesting. It's almost like Rayquaza, where the weather boost will help you, but it will also help them as well. The perfect IV catch CP for Giratina origin form is 2105, and if it's weather boosted, it's going to be 2631. So if you want a perfect IV Giratina origin form, then these are the CPs that you will want to target. And like I mentioned, Giratina Origin Form is one Pokemon that is often used in the Master League. So if you are a PvPer, if you participate in the Go Battle League, of course the Master League portion of every season 
is when a lot of people do a heavy amount of their ranking pushes. So you will definitely want to be prepared for this season and pick up one of these powerful ghost type Pokemon. Now assuming that you or your duo partner does not have a full team of Rayquazas or Mega Houndoom, then you could bring a whole bunch of other Pokemon that could be really effective, like any Dragon type that dishes out a lot of damage or can take a lot of damage will be really effective. I'm thinking about Dialga and Salamence and Dragonite. These are all Pokemon that you could use up against Giratina Origin Form. You kind of want to treat it like it's Rayquaza where Dragon types are going to reign supreme, but of course you will want to round out your team with a really good mega evolved Pokemon. I would suggest avoiding other Pokemon that are really strong against Dragon types like for example with Ice type Pokemon. They're just not going to dish out enough damage against this Pokemon so if you are looking to duo this Pokemon just go with the highest DPS Dragon types that you can possibly bring. The last time Giratina Origin Form was out I was running a full team of Rayquazas and I was able to nuke it down really easily and I didn't even need a Weather Boost or a Friendship Bonus but if you have any of these benefits then I highly suggest you utilize as many of them as possible especially if you are under level 40 you will want to make sure you have a best friendship bonus and at least one of you is using a mega evolution I think the most ideal situation is if I'm using mega houndoom with a full team of Rayquazas and my buddy is using a mega Charizard X to give my dragon types a boost and then of course both of us are best friends so we get that friendship bonus as well and then we're fighting in windy weather so we get the bonus to our dragon types and that should help us nuke it down with a lot of time remaining and of course I say this with every single one of my duo and trio raid guides you will want to give yourself as many advantages as possible going up against these bosses they are legendaries so you will want to take them seriously or else you will lose out on your passes so make sure you're going well prepared and make sure you're farming with the right moves of course with raid passes you don't actually use them when you jump into a lobby so you can get a good gauge of what moves it will bring so make sure you're using that to your full advantage even that it can help you win against these Pokemon like for example if the recommended lobby is a whole bunch of dragon types then you know it's going to have ghost type moves and it's safe to bring a bunch of your dragon types but if it recommends a whole bunch of other types like ice types then you could expect it to have dragon type moves and you will want to avoid those considering that his hardest hitting moves are of course dragon tail and dragon pulse and of course this is not going to be as simple and easy as some of the other duos that we've had like Moltres and Rayquaza you will want to bring your A game and you will be cutting it close when it comes to Giratina origin form so do keep that in mind when you go up against this boss it's not going to be a simple cakewalk you will want to be as prepared as you possibly can be so yeah that's going to be it for this video leave your thoughts down below have you caught shiny Giratina origin form yet I would definitely love to know but yeah that's going to be it I am Count Jinsula be safe have fun and I'll catch you all later